I have a Google Sheet here with two tabs, one showing new classes, and it has a list of course numbers, and one showing past classes, the course numbers, when they were offered, how many enrolled, and how many sessions. If I want to look up all the numbers in this new classes list and find out if they were taught in the past, what was their enrollment, semester offered, number of sessions, I can use VLOOKUP to do that. The VLOOKUP formula takes four parameters. First is the search key, or what are you looking for? The second is the range, or where are you looking? Third is index, and that is which number column do you want to return the value for? And finally, whether or not your range that you're looking in is sorted. So to look for this course number in A2, I will write my formula equals V lookup parentheses, and then I will click on that cell to add A2 to the formula, comma, and now I'll enter the range. And the range is a separate sheet, so I'll come to the bottom, click on the other tab, and I'll see that my formula is still editing. And while I'm still editing that formula, I'll click and drag to select the columns in my sheet I want to look in. And with the range in VLOOKUP, make sure that the search key, the thing you're looking for, is in the first column of the range you select to look in. And then a comma, I'll indicate the index. So which number column do I want to return the value for? So we're filling in the enrollment now. So if I find the value, I want to enter one to the value in the second column, the enrollment column. Finally, whether or not my search range is sorted. This range actually is sorted, but I want to say false because if I say true, it's going to return not just exact matches, but closest match. So we'll say false for not sorted. I'll hit return and I'm back in my new classes sheet and I have the number 189. So what does that mean? That means wherever it finds course number 910031, on the past classes sheet, and that's right here, the, it's going to return the second column's value, the enrollment, which was 189. I can copy this down to this whole column by double clicking on the bottom corner, and then I'll see the answers for every course in column A. Wherever I see the NA, that means it didn't find this course number in the search range anywhere. If I switch my is sorted to true here, and I make sure my past classes sheet is in fact sorted. When I go over to new classes and copy this formula down, now saying that my range is sorted, I'll see before where I got an NA, now I have a number. So what does that mean? Well, when it looked for 917174 in past classes, it didn't find it anywhere. However, the closest match without going over that number was 916150, so it returned the enrollment for that class. In this particular scenario, I wouldn't want to do that, but in case you need that functionality of closest match, you could use true. If I want to return the other columns there, I can copy my formula, paste it into the semester last offered. So I'm still searching for the value in A2 in the past classes sheet. And instead of returning the second columns value, that index two, I want to return three. And it will show me the semester last offered. Same thing with the number of sessions, paste the formula in. Make sure it's still searching for the value in A2 in past classes and change the index to four. And I have that. I can copy those down and all the data is populated. To make this formula even more robust, to turn it into an array formula that populates values down the entire column, I can follow the three steps to creating an array formula. The first step is to write the base formula, which I already have. The second step is to wrap the formula in array formula, and I can do that by manually typing array formula at the beginning. Or I can use the keyboard shortcut, which is going to be clicking in the formula bar and then command shift enter or control shift enter on Windows. And that will automatically add array formula around the formula. The third step is expand the range. Now when I say range, I don't mean the range parameter of the formula, but rather which one thing were you doing before that now you want to do to more things. In other words, I don't want to look just for A2, 
but I want to look for every value down column A. So I'll expand A2 out from A2 to A2 colon A, all the rest of column A. And now that I've followed the three steps for the array formula, I'll hit enter, and even though I've only written one formula, it's populating the responses down the entire column. So array formula is a really powerful way to fill in lots of information without having to have a lot of formulas that you have to populate. So this is a great tool for looking up values on another sheet and returning a corresponding value.